yourself with the first tea. Um, it's a little rainy day today, so I thought I'd give you a tip inside. One of our core values is responsibility. And what do you think we're more responsible for? Our golf clubs. So we want to make sure that our clubs are nice and clean and our bag is organized and it doesn't have anything extra in it that we are carrying around and don't really need. So I'm going to show you three things today. I'm going to show you how to clean your golf clubs. I'm going to show you how to clean up your bag, mark your golf balls, and then how to mark your clubs so that if you lose them, hopefully they'll find their way, their way back to you. So Cole, which club do you want to, do you want to clean first? The driver, okay. All the clubs are clean the same way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Dawn detergent, it's nice and soft on the grips and the clubs, but cleans them pretty good. And we're gonna take a scrub brush. I'm gonna put the Dawn detergent on it. And we're gonna put on the water and we're gonna scrub. You wanna try? I'll hold it, there you go. Good job. Get the sides and the top. Perfect. Let's do the grip. So now we'll go to the grip. Get it wet. There you go. Scrub it up and down. I'll twist it. Good job. Perfect. We've cleaned these pretty good, um, but don't worry if your water turns out black. It might have been because you had a rough day out in the sun and your hands were very sweaty, but that's why you need to clean them. Perfect. Okay. You can put the scrub brush down and we'll go ahead and put it on our towel. And we're gonna let this dry overnight. We don't wanna put it straight in our bag because it might get slimy and gross because it's more absorbent down there. And we're just gonna let it sit overnight. So pick a place that your club can sit properly. And that's what you would do with all your golf clubs. Doesn't matter which one, even your putter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out all these clubs and I, Cole's been keeping them pretty clean. So I'm going to sit it out here. Good. Our next step is actually the golf bag. So what I like to do is I actually have Cole take everything out of his golf bag and put it up on the counter. And that way we can see everything that's here. Also, I have these Sharpies and we went through our golf balls and kind of made a little smiley face on them. He got to draw some stuff on it, put some lines on them to mark them so he knew which one was his. This is also a great idea if your parents um, love to play golf, have your kids mark up your golf balls so when you play you can think about them. It's a great Mother's Day, Father's Day present also. He's got his ball marks and he'll go ahead and put these back in, but I want to show you probably the number one thing you probably have to do to help clean your golf bag is you might want to do this outside, but go ahead and empty out the bottom of that bag. You'll probably find candy wrappers, water bottles, anything. Always get stuck down there, even head covers. So I like to just go ahead and do that, get everything out clean, and then I'll have him go back and kind of organize his bag properly, um, all by himself so he knows where everything is. So we have our golf clubs, our golf bags. Now the last part is probably really important especially for kids and adults so what I did is I went on a printer and I printed out his name phone number and where he lives okay you can use self address labels but what I find is is that there's no phone number on them if yours has a phone number that's awesome mine do not but the phone number is probably the most important because if I find a golf club and there's a phone number I can pick up the phone and call them and say hey I'm gonna leave this in the pro shop at you know, Keough Island, wherever I'm at, um, and they can come back and find it. Um, but if it's just an address, it's hard to contact you to tell you where I'm going to leave the golf club. So how you do this is just go ahead and cut out the name. Then I take a piece of tape, catch that right there, and this is the one I have. And then what I'm going to do is just put it around. tape it off and then he has his name and his phone number and where he lives on the club so if he ever does lose it he knows where to find it hopefully this helps y'all have fun inside in a rainy day and then now I think we're all prepared tomorrow to go out and have some more fun stay safe